And good evening, friends. Welcome to the uh, Possibility War 26 of June 2022. Uh, and of course, our game still takes place in um, uh, in 2017. We're like six months into the war in 2017. And let's see. Uh, we're going. We're going to continue with Act One: Dead Man's History. And uh, here in just a few seconds, uh, we're going to continue with Scene One: The Police and the Cyber Knight. Now, here's the deal. Here's what I want to do. Um, we are uh, spending a little bit of time before I'm done with uh, with recording this preamble. Uh, we've been off for more than a month. My desktop started going Tango Uniform. Uh, I had uh, purchased a, la uh, a desktop months ago. Um, and uh, and let's go back to the slideshow. And that desktop is not forthcoming due to a very large series of unfortunate events, things that I never thought that I would see myself, but which have now taken place. Um, uh, so I'm going to have to spend, I, I, I had spent $1,600 to get that desktop and uh, things are tied up in a legal sense until we determine whether I'm going to get that $1,600 back or not. In the meantime, I'm going to try different types of things to get the desktop back up and running. Uh, video cards apparently can interfere with uh, with ethernet connections and stuff like that. And I have a very old video card. As a matter of fact, the video card that I've got is two years older than the PC that it's put in. Uh, that means that it's 20 years old. So I'm, I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. I'm gonna try and replace the video card and see if that will help straighten out the system. I do not know. Um, we lost 57 minutes worth of, of recorded video uh, from the last game session that was supposed to have taken place on the 19th of June, uh, so last week, and uh, it did not, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, a week before that, it's been two weeks since that happened, and uh, uh, that 57 minutes was full of all kinds of role playing. We're going to try and catch you up on that and, and get things going, but rest assured, we're going to continue to drive on the best that we can uh, with what we've got. If tonight ends up being a short night, um, I'm going to try and work all of these things together so that you can kind of hear what was going on with the game anyway. All right, for now, uh, I'm going to pause this and get you uh, get us all back into where the game is supposed to be. We've got a little bit of feedback going on, uh, uh, probably from me. Uh, I've got my desktop monitor set up as a second monitor to this laptop. I started out on this laptop with Roll20 and tried to keep things going with that, but we eventually got our technology back up and everything was working okay until, uh, you know, until about five weeks ago. So let's get to the game. Let's see what we can do. And welcome. All right, um, so we're gonna kind of get an update on uh, on on what happened a few weeks ago. The last time that we were playing, a lot actually took place. Um, whatever you guys don't catch from last time, I'll I'll go ahead and catch this time. Nightbird, would you start us off, please? Okay. Well, how far back you want me to start? Well, um, let's say that uh, Rios, Anden, and uh, Ginger, or uh, Ginger, Peaches, were still on the stairs coming down. So you oh, and shit. you and uh, Artorius... Uh, yeah, they were, were in the back of the buildings. Yeah, and let's, <laughs> let's say the plant shackles just came off. So... We began chasing chess. Chess, and I was trying. I keep reading to, his name is Keys. And I was trying to stop him without <laughs> like blowing his head off. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I'm pursuing him and trying, like, to not have lay out or something. And I figured out that he's much more than a simple man. He's certainly some kind of cyborg, and he's refusing to cooperate. He wants me to let him go, and I'm 
told him he has to answer for the people that he shot. Mm -hmm. So, so, um, we had some words, and now we're back to fighting and 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 chasing. Are did we get back to fighting and chasing? Uh, not yet. We were about to when the technical difficulties I'm pretty sure rose up. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Now I remember. Yeah, so it was going to go all out on a tackle or something, right? Uh, I, I think you'd really have to be able to catch him. Uh, okay, so, um, uh-huh, Artorius? Well, the last thing I remember, I don't think I played the last time. I can't remember specifically, but I know that I was helping with chasing chess, mm -hmm. and I used my ice burst to see if I could freeze them in place. I don't remember if it works or not. I want to see it did, but it's been a moment for me, so okay, uh, I don't remember. Yeah, uh, I'm seeing here on the screen that uh, that you did roll for an ice burst. The, here's where the problem came in. Uh, you had to select uh, chess first. By double uh, by taking your mouse over the top of him and hitting T on your keyboard. It used to be that you had yeah. to double right click, but uh, uh, so we'll, I'll probably have you do that again in just a moment. However, let's finish getting updates from everybody first. So oh, that's fine. All right, uh, Rios. Uh, last I remember, I was trying my best not to fall down the stairs in my heels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and doing a pretty uh, good job. Yeah, and an excellent <laughs> job. Well, uh, what was, did what you call good. that? The the uh, Cinderella Princess Stairway Suite. Yes, my dramatic Cinderella Stairway <laughs> Descent. <laughs> okay. Um, do you remember anything else that you even heard? Uh, I do recall that somebody was trying to do something with that black box from earlier, but I don't remember what it was. Okay. All right. Um, we'll have to kind of deal with that uh, in a few minutes. Peaches. I was just going hell-bent for leather after, uh, down those stairs and out the door. Um, I had rounded the building. Okay. Uh, I, I had made it down the stairs. I was first. Down the stairs? Uh, no, Andon was first, uh, but you would have come out the door right after him. I'll kind of clar clarify positions here in a few minutes. All right, Chris. Yes. Uh, well, I've been up in the apartment uh, mm -hmm. investigating around. That's right. Uh, I can barely remember it now it's been so long that's okay and that was a very de detailed uh, important thing mm -hmm. so that we're gonna need a lot of review on that and of course the very later. detailed important thing i left on my shelf over here hang on <laughs> 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 i thought i had everything really <laughs> okay um all right so is, is that pretty much it then uh, well, I'll kind of go through what you know, I went, you know, went through, and what I can remember is that I tried to open the, you know, door, ripped, uh, ripped off the door, kinda, <laughs> and, you know, inadvertently when I was just trying to rip off the door handle, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> caused the TV to break. Uh, looked around the living room, kitchen, and was now in the uh, Chez's. Uh, a bedroom where a window was open and I believe he left the building through. Mm -hmm. And you're actually looking at um, at uh, Rios, or not Rios, at Nightbird uh, having just cut his leg for a second time and finding out he was a cyborg. Um, and you can see uh, you can see Artorius down there as well, uh, and you hear the door kind of slam open, but you don't see uh, Peaches or Andon just yet from your viewpoint. Do you remember anything else? Uh, 
Other than that, man, he's a bit too far away from any of my abilities. Oh, that's right. He is. He is. I forgot about that. Thank you for for reminding me because I would have I, I would have had to calculate it again, but I w eventually would have remembered. Yeah. Okay. Like we're on what the third, fourth story, and he's third, a yeah. good distance away. Right. I, it's over twenty-five meters. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it's. Uh, I think it's between thirty and thirty-five. So. Yeah. Just shyly out of range for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. What you all have recalled is brilliant. Um, uh, you, you guys were perfect in, in how you described what was going on, but we did have one or two things going on. Um, I remember Chess had drawn his weapon, spun around on, um, on Nightbird, uh, aimed it at her face, and basically said, you have to let me go, they're going to kill me. Um, but I also know that uh, Artorius was casting Ice Burst, which we did not successfully get last time. Okay, so um, we were in combat. Let me switch over to the proper thing. We were in combat. Okay, there we go. And Lucky Break is the card. Um, the heroes, it is a standard scene, so the heroes get to go first, and villains are stymied. Um, now, we had, uh, why is that turned on? That shouldn't be turned on. Uh, we had run into the, uh, problem, uh, where we needed to figure out who was going to go first. Uh, was... I, I think actually Remy was going to go first casting Ice Burst through Artorius. Um, but I don't remember that for absolute certain. What, what do you guys remember? Uh, I'm drawing a blank, guys. Help me out. <laughs> no, I'll remember if someone just gets me started. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 enable chat bubbles. I don't want to. It's like when somebody chat. asks you what you want for your birthday, you have a whole laundry list until the moment somebody says something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, I just drew a blank. Come on, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure either. I just remember what you did last time. That's it. <laughs> well, I, uh, what I was going to do it, but I was going to do it. Yeah. Okay, uh, I cannot we were, find. We're going to work together to try to catch that guy, and we're going to pull all our cards to do it. Okay. That's, that's, that's really the plan. Right, well, yeah. guys? <laughs> that should always be the plan, though. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know that we have to do an ice burst. But, oh, and we have what the, um, for a single spell... A uh, single individual spell, and it was a single individual spell. Uh, let's see what does he have here. What is this? Um, is that a vulnerable? Okay, I think that is just stymied. I know he's stymied. Okay, he's not vulnerable yet, but he will be if he gets hit with an ice burst. Um, I know that uh, Nightbird was right next to him. And he was uh, flashing last game. Uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, he he stymied from how you hit him, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that and that's legitimate. If you if you look on your screen with the you know up to the, up to the little guy that looks like he's falling, um, that's for stymied. Uh, that means he's stymied. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, so. Okay. I know that Andon had come out of the door and he's trying to unstrap his uh, f uh, his. Uh, Big firearm. Uh, I know that the door was still open when Peaches came out of it, but Peaches like just came out. She's like maybe two or three meters from the door, um, and and not too far away from Andon. Uh, let's see. Rios was still coming down the stairs. She's two rounds behind. So one round to the bottom of the stairs. One round to the door. Well, actually, out of the door. 
um, and trying not to trip over your dress and your high heeled shoes. And then, yeah. So, okay, forgive me. Uh, who was going to go first? Was that Artorius? That would be Artorius. Okay. I want you to go ahead, if you would please, and, and roll again. But, you, okay, I need you to go over the top of Chess's token and hit I the got T. Him targeted. You do? Because it's not showing up on my side. I've got him targeted. Okay. All right. Then let me go over there. Yep, now it's showing. Okay, I just had to get into the to the combat tracker. Okay, go ahead and make a roll for your ice burst. And I've forgotten what the... Uh, that's I can perfect. remember how to do that again. Okay, just... I've got to remember how to do that again. So... <laughs> 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 uh, okay, okay, let me open up your character here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just have to open up your powers tab. Um... Hmm? Then I just got to click on the, the dice symbol, the, the spell roll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what works. All right. Do, do, do. Okay. So that, why did it, Oof. why did it do it again? Wait a minute. Um, uh, did you hit shift and click on that die roll? Uh, I did not. Whoops. Okay. Well, I, I don't think that's the problem then. It's giving a nan action total. Uh, hang on. What does nan do? Uh, nan is basically not a number. Okay. I. That is weird. It means not applicable. It's it yeah it's it's a not applicable number. Why can I not get your character open for Pete's sake? Okay. All right. All right. I, 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 you know, if, if I was, if, if I could do it, I would be one of those people. It's like, dooby dooby doo. Okay. So ice burst hit the die roll. Okay. 17. And see that gave an Worked action. <sighs> okay. I wonder if it might just, uh, I don't know. It may it might be me. It, no, it's not you. It may be a permissions issue. Okay, let me make sure. I I know that I've changed permissions. I I promise I've changed permissions. Possibility war. Okay, uh, Artorius, and configure permissions. It's allowing you to roll dice. Oh, why? Okay, observer, and then why does it not have you set as the owner? <laughs> no, it does. It has you set as the owner. Okay, um. That's okay. I can't figure out what's going on then. Should I try again? Um, run your mouse back over chess and hit T to deselect him. I want to try it. Okay. I want to try something. I was not. I did not have him selected when I rolled. Okay, so. No, oh, want to go over there? Huh? There you go. Nothing, my. Laptop was active a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna deselect it. Okay, he's deselected. Go ahead and roll for your ice burst again. Okay. And while you're rolling for your ice burst, yeah. targets Dodger decks. Okay. Nine. Oh, see, it, it did it this time. time. Okay. Uh, the uh, the entire die roll system is being reconstructed. Uh, in fact, it's done. It just needs to be tested. Uh, so hopefully the next time we play, it will be available to us along with a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, so let's see. Ice Burst. Uh, you rolled an action total of 15. It's against his Dodger decks. So let me close this. And let me open chess so that I can see his Dodger decks. Um, hello. Okay. Cyber Knight Chess. Uh, his dodge is a 16 you missed unless you want to throw no. something at it do you, uh, do you want to try and throw a possibility or a uh, card at it 16 15 14 wait a minute you hit oh, you hit i lied what? yes because he's got a stymie he's stymied so that's minus right. two so right, 16 so 15 okay. 14 yeah you hit him by one but your Ooh, damage, yeah. Okay, so 15 damage versus his toughness, 
Hello, where's his toughness? 13. So he's going to take four shock. Okay. Uh, oh, is that good or bad? Uh, well, he's already got four shock. So that's going to take him to eight shock, uh, which is, is pretty good. That's, that's not terrible. Okay. Yeah. Close that. Uh, oh, why did I do that? That was dumb. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. can you open Ice Burst on your computer and kind of read it? I just need my. Yeah, purpose. sure. What, what's that? Okay. We just need him to fall unconscious so we can find him and take him in. Well, no, he's not All unconscious right. yet. He's still got four. He, he, well, I'm to deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That's one possibility. I could see that. And not to be, you know. So, okay. So you do hit him with the ice burst. There's something else that's supposed to happen, though. All right. The caster conjures an intense spray of super cooled water directed at the target. When hit, the target takes 14 damage, becomes immobilized if he is standing on solid surface. Once per turn, as a simple action, the target may make a strength test to break the ice and move normally. Okay. Now, you've got a 15 damage because of your uh, magic concentration. It gives you a plus one. Right. Uh, damage plus one due to elemental magic tradition for Artorius. If that tradition is broken, the plus one is lost. It is not broken. You right. haven't chosen anything outside of that yet. So, okay. Very good. Um... Our, okay, uh, Nightbird, it's on you. What's up? Well, he took him and he's frozen now. He so. he's not frozen, um, but he yeah. is held in place, which makes him vulnerable. That's right. Let me go ahead and come on now. And well, that's a I minus two. Just see him on his leg, or do something to so he can't flee. Okay. Okay. Um, what do you have that can allow you to do that? Um, let's see. Let's read Electric Katana here real quick. The ion circuitry nano imprinted into the katana's blade glows with energy when activated. The field generated just over the surface cuts even sharper and protects the metal underneath from chipping or dulling. May be used as a normal katana when not energized. Okay, and it's got armor piercing two. I'm going to give you an opportunity here. You could use the electric katana. You're still going to have to make a roll, but that's to determine if you do any extra damage. Uh, not mm -hmm. to hit him necessarily. Um, AP2. The choice is this. Instead of using your armor piercing, you could use the, the, the nano circuitry in the katana to shock him to unconsciousness. How does that sound? Yeah, yeah that's what I want to do. I don't want to necessarily remove his leg or anything. Okay, so you're <laughs> going for a non-lethal effect. So let yep. me let me see something here. Uh, non-lethal damage. Okay, wounds recover in 24 hours. That's all it says for the non-lethal damage. Are you aiming for his leg? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I already injured it, so I want to use it to you know, prevent him from fleeing as well. Okay. So. Um. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So your penalty for that is a minus two, but here's the deal. Well, pff, he's already got his penalties. Okay, so the magic spell stuff is different than the standard hits. So go mm -hmm. ahead and, and go over the top of him, and I think it's either double right click or hit your T to mark him. Okay, there you yep. go. And then uh, you should be able to go in and roll your your uh, your katana, your your electric katana, to hit him. Uh, you've got the penalty of two, but I mean he also has a penalty of two. Uh, plus he's vulnerable, so we're gonna see how that goes. So uh, let's see, bonus modifiers, no big deal. Uh, Fourteen, so that's a good hit. Uh, let's see. He is minus two to his. Okay, let me move Nightbird over here. I'm kind of. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't give me an option to put in the 
for minus two. Uh, no, for the for the weapon stuff right now, that's part of the rebuild that's getting ready to go on, which is why I'm still Perfect. doing this in uh, in in. Uh, so let's see. So your actual hit would have been uh, a difference of. Wait a minute. What is his? Hello, dodge. No, it's not going to be a dodge. It's going to be melee. Uh, so that's a 14. So that's two less than dodge. So minus two, that's a 12. So you got him by two. That's not any extra damage. Um, but we can go with the non-lethal option. Um, give me one bonus dice. So down there on the card uh, where it says BD on your chat window. Are you following where I'm at? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, uh, you, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. I, I know it's kind of small. Um, yeah. go ahead and click that BD. All right. And, oh, well, that's only one. Well, let's see. So that's 14. <laughs> that's not going to help a whole lot, but he is vulnerable, which means his toughness is minus two. Um, plus you're hitting inside of his armor, so his armor's not going to count. Uh, let's see, it called, let me get the called shot out and make sure. Plus four, oh no, that's plus four damage to vital areas. You're not in a vital area, so I'm going to give you a plus two damage, so that's 16 damage minus his, uh, 11 toughness, so that's a difference of five. Um... You're not going with a wound, so we're going to, okay, we're going to call that, yep, you knock him out. Okay, so that's actually going to be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 shock out of the 12 that he can take. Okay, um, let me see if he's got enough uh, presence of mind to get a, a shot off mind. Come on. He does not. He simply drops um, the ice that is at his feet, uh, splinters a little bit, but his knees are sticking almost straight up in the air, and and he falls directly to his back. The GWI Godlight laser that he has uh, is that a Godlight? Uh, oh no, it's a Herod Four pistol. That's right. Uh, falls to the ground just out of his reach. And he does go unconscious. Uh, matter of fact, he's kind of jerking around a little bit. Uh, That's a bit unsettling watching. Yeah. Uh, grab his uh, weapon. Yeah, yeah, take his weapon for sure. Okay. Uh, All right, so you take his weapon. And. Yeah, I want to hear him and call him. Tell the, tell the team. I have him in my hands. Okay. <laughs> okay, by the time that round ends, and, and I'm going to go ahead and end the combat also, so we're going to end that and return everything to normal, maybe? Um, oh, yes, end the combat encounter. So any, any cards that you have should have gone back to your pools. Oh, that reminds me. I need you guys to check your pools and make sure they're still there, please. Um... You should have anywhere, well, unless you spent all of your cards, you should have anywhere between one and five cards. I have three wow. in my hand. Okay. And one, well, three, three in your destiny and one in your cause. And one under what? I oh, one have cause them. Six. Yeah, one cause them. Well, you've probably earned them, but you, what you're telling me is you guys have your cards, right, Connor? Uh, what? You have your cards, right? You should have all four yes. of yours, okay? Ginger? I had. I don't think I spent any of mine. One, two, three, four, so... So you should have uh, five. Yeah, yeah uh, counting the Cosm card, I have five. Oh, Okay. Then you did spend one because I know that we got you other cards, and you you start with five anyway, right? Or is that five possible or four possibilities? I I don't remember. It, four. I start with four, like everybody else. Okay. I start with a possibility. 
Okay, yeah, an extra possibility. That's right. Uh, I put a card in my pool before action actually begins. Okay, but all cards should have been removed from their pools by now. If you have any cards that are still marked pool, you need to kind of take those out. Okay. Pick them back up. Gotcha. Okay. All right, remove all cards from pool. Right. Done. Um, yeah. But not from your hand. You're not supposed to get rid of the cards out of your hands yet. Right. So if I need to, I right. if, if you guys are confused, let me know and I'll, I'll open things up and make sure you've got them. I should have checked them before. There was some new software that came out this last week uh, to help with uh, cards. Okay. Uh, to make them faster and easier to deal with. Uh, so Remington, you've already told me yours. Ross, you've still got yours, right? Yeah, three in my hand and the one Cosm. The Cosm card, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, and then, uh, uh, Catherine, you just told me that you have yours, right? Yeah, three in my hand and one Cosm card. Okay, yeah, everybody should have a Cosm card unless they've played their Cosm card. Okay, I, I know that sounds silly, but it's also true. Um, <laughs> so then, do you guys, uh, and in... Uh, rushes over what about uh, Peaches and Artorias? Yeah, I do too. I rush over. Okay. Um, yeah, and I'm reminded that we might, uh, this this guy might be running for his life. Not sure if someone tried to assassinate him or if he tried to assassinate somebody else. So, uh, who's watching our six? Hmm. That's a very I good will. question. Okay. Thank you, Artorius. Um, yeah, as a first responder, I tend not to look back. I tend to try to, you know... Get in and help. Yeah. Get to the man who's down on the ground. So, uh, in this case, though, I'm going to zip time if I have anything rope up, any, anything <laughs> handy. Well, you... Oh, you yeah, you do have your medical kit. Um, yeah. So you could do that. Um... um Nightbird, what is it you would like to try to do? I want to search him for any other weapons, uh, ITs, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, remove anything that he can try to use to escape or anything. And okay. then, you know, once we got him secure, then, uh, you know, let's take him in. Yeah, well, just trust him up. <laughs> okay, now, um, he does have a, his Herod 4 pistol, um, which somebody picked up, I thought. Who picked that I up? I did. Oh, okay, so you picked up his pistol, but when you try to move it, his head yanks to the side a little bit where the wire is attached. Goodness gracious! Oh, uh, what, what, what are you? What are you? Uh, 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 put it down, or what? what uh, 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 help! Uh, help! How does this work? Uh, I could use my multi-tool and snip the wire. Uh, well, now wait a minute. Hold on, just a second. In Don't go. Or something. <laughs> What's that? In probably just plugs in or jacks in or something. I Okay, so um, Nightbird, please. You, I'm not even going to make you do a fine test. You see that it's plugged in with a, um, a, a, a three sixteenths diameter jack uh, at the base of his skull, and uh, and you reach over and unplug it before somebody decides they're going to break his neck or snip snip wires and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want him like taking shot from the. Cyber connection, me and Pat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let me go over this a little bit at a time. Um, here's here's what I'm going to kind of set up. Okay. Uh, Peaches, as a first responder, you might get this guy tied down first, which is fine. We're, we're just going to say that you do it. Um, but when you go to check his eyes to see, uh, if he's uh, still alive, basically, um, his left eye, uh, has, let's see, it has a readout 
of miniature digits floating across it in kind of a light blue. It's it's just enough for you to read or, or to see, but not to read. I know what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, it'd be in French anyway. Uh, well, yeah. Well, no, not necessarily. It could be in, in, uh, in binary. Uh, let's see. Uh, not likely, but could be. Well, I take a piece of medical tape and I tape his eye shut. Okay. Then you go to the, open, then you go to check his other eye and mm-hmm. it seems to have a big red dot in the middle that's kind of pulsing in and out. <laughs> Jeez, this guy doesn't have any natural eyeballs left. Nope. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, let's see. What else does he have? Okay, uh, um, Nightbird. Since you are making the the test to to see, see about finding things, please give me a. Tell me about the eyes. I'm sorry. What? Did she mention the eyes? Yeah, I taped both eyes. You taped well, both uh, eyes. No, no. With, with me- gentle medical well, tape. One one might be a countdown to a bomb or something. I don't know. Oh no. But, you don't see no. any kind of countdown or anything like that. Right. The, yeah. other one, the other one's definitely a, probably a optic enhancement from a weapon. Mm-hmm. From a sight from a weapon. Mm-hmm. The sights and the other looks like some kind of mental data enhancement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, keep on looking him over. Okay, Nightbird, please give me a find test. Fine. And it's just a standard fine test, so you can just click the skill and everything will be all right. Whoa! Oh! Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay, you kind, of, you kind of find all the things. Um, let's start at the top. <laughs> <laughs> you find a, a, a dagger. It seems to be some kind of an electrified dagger. Uh, uh, it doesn't seem like it's very deadly, but... But the edge of it kind of, you get a kind of a shine across uh, across the very edge of of the blades as you're kind of turning it over. Uh, and and not a full man or something like that. I, I'm sorry, say that again. I mean, my or something. You know, that's not a bad idea. Uh, yes. I shouldn't, you know, with my tent level knowledge, mm-hmm. twenty four, I probably can. Recognize that. That's the truth. Yeah. Um. And you recognize it as potentially armor piercing. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's see. The long coat this guy is wearing is armored. It has uh, gel plates inside of um electrically laced leather. Okay. But it is a very long uh, armored long coat. Uh, he mm-hmm. he has a black box, and it's not very big. It measures probably five inches by five inches by three inches, uh, and it has a couple of different um, connection points to it, female connection points, um, and it was inside the left uh, l- the left deep pocket of his coat. Um, See, that's the smart gun attachment, which we've already been over. Um, when you actually, as you're actually kind of feeling uh, uh, this guy's body to make sure that he doesn't have any other weapons, mm-hmm. you feel beneath his skin is armor plating. Yeah, uh, I hear you, Mike. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that you're not going to see, that you're not going to see. That you're not going to see. Huh? Um, well, he's probably got all kinds of. He's probably all kinds of cyber. He. I'm going. I'm just going to tell you right now. He is all kinds of cyber, and you would have to cut him up on a table yeah. to find it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let someone else do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, this guy's still living. He's still got a pulse. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, I didn't kill him or anything. Okay. Um, one of you looking on the side of his neck opposite where the gun plugged in, uh, finds a sm- a tiny plate that measures about a half inch across, a half inch in diameter, and it's got three little slots, like you might find, what are those tiny little cards that we use in our cell phones? 
Oh, uh, it's a cyber jack of some kind. Yep, he's he's got. Uh, it, it's not a cyber jack. You actually find it's two a, uh two cards in. It's, in um, yeah, well, I it's, know what you mean. It's a it's chip a stack. Yeah. Yeah. It's a chip thing. Yeah. Yeah. I do cyber punk and camera run, so I know I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've already looked at that, but I'm going to need to read that here in a minute. Um. Okay, you look along the side of his, the left side of his head, um, right along where the bone that meets his um, uh, eyebrows uh, on the left-hand side uh, is at, and you see a tiny little lump there. And if you look closer, the tiny little lump has about 100 dots in it. And it looks like a microphone. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. The legs, we already know about the legs. And you already know about the eyes. And that is to hold everything together. Now, please give me a moment because I have to go read something. Uh, <laughs> let me well, see. Well, let's uh, definitely uh, keep somebody in front of him, somebody behind him. I don't know who's going to hear him. Well, he's he's going to be super heavy, so it's probably going to take three of you at least to carry him. It's like, uh, where's the Adina? <laughs> yeah, where is our Adinos when we need Mo? <clears throat> um, <laughs> we, need, we need Mo muscle. Yeah. <laughs> so where do you guys want to take him? Well, uh, how did we get here in the first place? Oh, we arrived in a cop car, didn't we? Yep, you arrived in uh, in two police cars, actually, because one police car was not big enough for all of you. Um, uh, but there is, the last you saw, there was an ambulance and at least two fire engines and, and a bunch of police and everything like that. But you're also missing a team member. Chris? <laughs> Oh, actually, oh, yeah, we gotta... go ahead. We got to go back and look for our missing fellow back in the apartment. Uh, and of course, he's not really missing. If you guys wanted to, you could, you could. I mean, we have videos or whatever, right? Da, 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 da. So call him, call him uh -huh. and say, hey, Where are you? We got him. Why aren't you here? Okay. Oh. So, Chris, you can actually answer from where you're at. Well, I just, this is the first time hearing it, hearing of it, and don't you want to check out the apartment? There's, you know, I mean, have you also yeah. seen this uh, little box thing? Uh, there's, uh, it seems like there was one here, but I can't seem to find it anywhere in the apartment. Mm -hmm. well, I found the box on him. And a bunch of other stuff. Oh! Oh, you yeah, yeah, guys also, uh, yeah, what are you? Simon really a lot, so, uh, he might try to escape when he wakes up. <laughs> yeah, he tried to escape, run with it, so what do you think it might do, Chris? Well, uh, judging by this folder I have over here, it might contain inf more information of his mission. Uh, speaking of, I found this folder with dossiers of two people. Uh, dossiers? Yeah, she'll probably, yeah, she probably bring that here and not talk over and open with it. I'm not worried about it. All right, so do you guys want to head upstairs then? Uh, yeah, we can take him and, uh... Well, why he just meet us? Head well, upstairs. Because we don't want to hold a body upstairs. Don't you want to take it to your boss or whomever? Okay. I can stay with the body if you nothing else. It's a lot of time scene, so we either have to hand it over or <laughs> do whatever, I don't know, some nights have their own authority. So... The question is, would the authorities be able to do anything with it now? Um, well, no, I meant the storm night. 
him, run the council or whatever. Okay, so the Delphi Council then? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I think wouldn't we want to take him to them? We wouldn't, we wouldn't want to give him to the police. Because the police would be, like, out of their league. Well, not only would they be out of their league, but they would be all kinds of hating on this guy. Uh, because they don't want uh, they don't want him to to be there, you know. Anyway, so we've got we've got uh, Artorius who has now volunteered to watch over the body downstairs. If you guys want to go up, or as Nightbird has suggested, uh, perhaps get him to the Delphi Council. Um. Yeah, we need to get him to the. Uh council that'd probably so, be best yeah um why don't we secure him in the uh ambulance okay with you know he is injured after all so <laughs> and who... yeah we'll just handcuff him there too and, and and someone will stay with him and uh i'll use my phone and i'll try to contact the uh delphi council Okay. The, remember that warehouse is still there. They might have the ability to to get authorization to hold him at the jail um, without you know without the cops interfering. So, but I'll leave that up to you guys to determine. You know that's up to you. Um, so who wants to take Chess to the ambulance? Well, um, I think it'll take all of us, won't it? Well, let's At least see. Three of us. The uh, Rios is downstairs now. So Rios, Andon, uh, Artorius, Nightbird, and I Peaches. Keep us all here together and not split up again. Okay. So you know, someone mentioned that when he mentioned they would kill him. So you know, we should have somebody keep an eye out for any potential snipers or whatever. And then some somebody's somebody's gonna have to carry him, and then somebody's gonna have to clear the police and the crowd away when we try to take him wherever we take him. <laughs> okay, okay. This could this is gonna make for some very interesting play here. Um, so who among you is carrying him? Uh, Peaches. You actually know how to carry him so yeah. that he's so that he can't hurt you, okay? Hurt right. your back. So yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Um, how, do I, is this a strength roll or something? Um, yeah. Why not? Just let me have a standard strength roll. A ten ought to do. Um, uh, you know, I didn't consider his weight. Uh, he's going to be pretty heavy. Let's, let's, let's take that up to a difficulty number of 12 and you can hit shift, uh, and click on your strength. Oh, wait a minute. Attributes don't do that yet. Do they? No, uh, you can do it. Can you? Okay. So hold yeah, down your shift key. Uh, now in, 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 when all of this stuff is updated, it's always going to pop that up. You won't have to hit shift anymore. Okay. So that's 11. Let me switch over here to the card okay that's an action total of nine that's not going to get it you find that I you're need, having need difficulty hmm? well, well no i need support uh anybody have a supporter card or a plus three card because even we're not in rounds now you can Correct. just play them and support me uh, or you can I, even I, trade you can even trade yeah. hand to hand so or something will help me out yeah to my hand i do have a supporter card i can play well, there Excellent. you go. Uh, Did you take the other arm? And uh, anybody else got? Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, um, Remy, hang on a minute, and, and I can help you with that. And You're good. I, I can play. I, I have a simple too. Thank I you. can play this action card. So if we all work together, if I play my action card, let's see here. Play. My strength is nine too. Okay, so an action card gives you a plus three, I believe. In fact, I should be able to... Hey, I can, like, pop that up and stuff. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, plus three to total. So that's going to be 10, 11, 12. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the plus three card. 
and plus three card again. So plus three card there, and then plus three card there. Okay, so uh, who, uh, Ross, you played the supporter. Ginger, you have your action card. Uh, Remy, do you want to also play your supporter? Uh, you've got. There's enough right now. There's 15 to be able to carry his weight, and I'm going to guarantee right now 15. 15 can be up to a thousand pounds. I will save it then. Okay. All right. Okay. Saving, saving your card is a good deal. So, um, Nightbird and Peaches, you pick up. Uh, uh, chess and you start walking him out um, what roles are are Rios and Artorias going to play then at this point 